So a lot of people buy a property and they might not want to come for two to three years. So they have the opportunity to know that their property is being well looked after um, and also gaining an income from it rather than it just sitting empty. Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode on our Villa Lux YouTube channel and today I'm joined by Sandy. Hi. Uh, Sandy, thank you so much for being here today. So you're the administrator of Javia Rentals. That's correct. Yeah, and Javia Rentals, for people who don't know that, it's a um, sister company of Villa Lux. We work under the same mother company and um, you manage everything when it comes to rentals, um, owners, clients, tenants, uh, you name it, you know everything about it. Um, so again, I'm really happy to have you on here. Uh, could you start with just explaining a little bit about how it started, um, what you do and where you're at now? Have Your Rental started um, 20 odd years ago. Um, basically, um, Villa Lux was selling houses and we had lots of people coming in asking for um, somebody to manage their properties, to rent their properties. We decided there was um, an opportunity there to actually help the, the customers when they sold a villa or um, the buyers that bought the villa um, mm. could actually have a company that could trust and look after their properties on every aspect of renting. Yeah, because I think that's really important because there's a lot of clients, of course, we get Villa Lux that either are looking to buy a property and want to rent something mm. first so they can figure out yeah. you know, what the best area is for them or people that buy a property as an investment and think about renting it out after they bought it. So yeah. I think the combination is really good. Um, could you tell a little bit about the main types of rentals you can find around here? Because we get a lot of questions about that. Usually. There are the three types of renting. Um, if you wanted to do a long term, this means we find you a good tenant. We do all the checks to make sure they are a good tenant. Then you have a complete um, a whole year's income. So the income is is for or even longer if they want to stay longer. So a lot of people buy a property and they might not want to come for two to three years. So they have the opportunity to know that their property is being well looked after um, and also gaining an income from it rather than it just sitting empty. Then you have the winter let. This works very well for people that want to use the villa themselves because often in the winter time they don't come mm -hmm. and rather than leaving the property sitting empty, you have again the opportunity to make your investment um, earn you some money and again we do the vetting and the checking of the clients going in. Um, the next step is holiday letting. Uh, the holiday letting um, obviously very big income um, and it's ideal for those that don't want to come in peak season so if it's too hot for you in um, Javier in July and August this is a good time to holiday let your property as well. Yeah, because this is what we notice. There's a lot of people who are especially interested in selling their pro uh, sorry, renting their property in the months of July and August mm. per week. Because of course that's where you know the mm. biggest amount of money is in. Um, but then they have a lot of questions like, you know, what do I do in the low season? Mm. And I think it's interesting what you're saying because if you go for a winter let instead of renting it out per night or per week, you are sure that in the months from let's say September to June you actually have a constant yeah, income. Generally, the clientele that do a, a winter let um, are retired. Hmm. So we have a lot of, of um, older generation. So even if you have a larger property, um, it will still rent, but it'll be a lower occupancy in the winter, which is, is it's actually good for a property to be constantly maintained by having people living in a property all the time there's less goes wrong than leaving something sitting empty yeah and imagine you're a person you just bought your property in Javier you notice that you cannot be there as often as you would like to um, like where do people start they can reach out to you um, what are some of the main questions you ask them I mean haviarentals.com has got a very good website so if you're looking whatever aspect of renting whether it's long-term holiday or winter letting um, you have uh, of the email my phone number you can ask any questions that you like um, any concerns you have we'll answer in every individual mm -hmm. concerns that you may have we also have a management team 
So we have the opportunity to, if anything does go wrong during any of the type of renting period, that we can help and assist. I think that's really important because yeah. if you're not here in Javier, you need to know that somebody is actually taking yeah. care of your property and yeah. the tenant, of course, as well. And um, if you're looking to rent something, so there's a lot of people mm. who want to come to Javier. Like I said, um, they're thinking about buying something in the future, near future. Mm. And they decided that it's just easier to rent something first so they can have a look at the different mm. areas. Um, I mean, for them, I think a winter let would be perfect or long term, yeah. of course, depending on the time. Um, like, where would they start? What are some of the most common requirements or checks um, you do? Generally, the uh, we have a lot of, of, of exactly what you're just saying. A lot of customers where they are considering moving to Javier, unsure of um, the different areas where they want to buy. So they will often come and ask us for certain questions of the location and if it's better for winter, winter sun. Some people want somewhere more self-facing. Mm. So we will find them a rental property that kind of suits their criteria. Um, the, the main thing is, is actually also schooling. If they're coming with children, um, the location for schools. So we can help them assist them in any sort of those type of things. Being here for a long time, I know the areas very, very well and, and can obviously find them a rental property. And then from there, they get a taste of what it's like to live in Javier before they take the next step to buy. Yeah, because I think that's quite a common question as well. People that move here with, with children, of course, their main concern is, you know, finding a school for their children that they like. Um, I know here it works, you know, by area, right? So if you rent or, or buy, but in this case, rent a property, you'll probably be able to go, go to a certain school that is for that area. Um, so that's something you could help yeah. it to. Yeah, because often with the schooling here, they have to be in a certain uh, location to be able to put their children into a certain school. Mm -hmm. So that is worth thinking of when you're going to make that rental. Your rental contract will be required to put your children into school mm. in, in which area you want to be in different yeah. areas of the support or the arenal so how do the rentals usually come is it uh, furnished unfurnished do people have to bring their own things no most rentals it's furnished because when they're coming on holiday long-term letting or winter letting um, they just come with their suitcases and yeah, they start their rental contracts yeah and um, the, the good thing is is obviously with if you're going to do winter letting and long-term letting um, the owners don't actually require a, a tourist license but for holiday letting um, you need a tourist license and this is very easy to obtain it takes a few weeks and you can start doing your holiday letting yeah that's good to know because yeah. if you want to rent it out in winter you don't need it but of yeah. course if you want to go for yeah. the holiday let um, yeah you, you really do um, actually I was just thinking maybe we can talk a little bit about pricing like mm. what is the price points people can think of? The pricing ranges from the new, sort of everybody's budget. So whether you're looking for a one bedroom apartment, a studio, you just want to come for the winter and stay for a few months, you can anything range between 600 euros. Going up to more luxury properties, um, 3,000, 3,000 plus. Um, and then the holiday letting is completely different again. It goes on by the season. So whether you're renting in July or August, different the different weeks of the month, it, it's per week, and the the premium pricing is is pretty high. Happy is very sought after in or July and August. They come from every every country um, to be here for holidays, so you can pretty much sort of name your price within reason on the weekly prices. Yeah, but we can guide you on. That. Okay, that's good to know because I mean there's so much demand around here, so it's really like a lucrative thing to do. Um, and holiday lets is that something you do as well, or we're just expanding. Um, uh, Happier Rentals um, mainly did um, a few years ago. We did all aspects, and then we took a little gap. Uh, but we are now moving into the holiday side, so we're going to offer all aspects of the holiday business whether you want to just use this as a portal or whether you want to have um, the complete management, um, all the care, all the cleaning, the gardening, maintenance, we're going to cover every single aspect. That's something that's going to be happening in the next few months. We're going to 
promote this on our website. Okay, well, it sounds really good. Now, Sandy, I would like to wrap it up now. Thank you so much for, for being here today and provide everybody with some great information. Um, so if you're watching this video and you have any other questions for Sandy, um, the contact details will be down below in the description. And as always, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos.